I'm Roger Coleman. Time on this program is offered at no cost to any nonprofit group or agency simply by contacting the station and making the appropriate arrangements. Views and opinions expressed on this program are not necessarily those of WFYI television or of station management. We're happy to have you with us today, and in the second portion of our program, we are going to be talking with representatives from the Jewish Community Center. However, we want to entertain you during this portion, and I have some musicians with me, and I would like to introduce their leader to you at this time. He is Mr. Daryl Horton. Glad to have you with us, Daryl. Uh, thank you. We're glad to be here. Let's make that uh, clarification that you wanted to make. Daryl might look somewhat older than the rest of the group. He is the leader, and he is sitting in today simply because one of his musicians uh, is out ill. But from what I've heard in rehearsal, I'm glad that you're filling in today. Uh, thank you. I enjoy playing with him. Uh, it might be appropriate at this point to identify the group. We are the uh, Ben Davis High School Jazz Ensemble, and uh, I don't want to waste any time talking, so let's have you introduce the first number and get right down to business. Okay, we're going to open up with Hey Burner, written by Sammy Nestico for the Count Basie Orchestra. Thank you very much. The Ben Davis High School Jazz Ensemble. <laughs> That was Hay Burner, performed for you by the Ben Davis High School Jazz Ensemble. For the second selection, we will hear Time for a Change, which comes from the Sten Canton Library. This composition is written in nine-quarter time. Steve Cagle is featured on tenor saxophone on this Hank Levy composition.
The final number of the Ben Davis High School Jazz Ensemble will be the theme from the hit television show, uh, Barney Miller. And this number will feature the trumpet of Dave Derrickson. getting tangled up in cameras and cords and everything else, but uh, the line I was going to use coming on, Daryl, was all I can say is, wow. Well, That's fantastic. Thank you. The um, opportunity sometimes presents itself for us to uh, in interview everybody and talk with them and to get their names out, but I'm afraid time won't permit that today, but I just want to express my appreciation on behalf of the station for this performance. And one wouldn't know, but I am a Stan Kenton fan. I was uh, reading the copy of there introducing the second number, and I don't recall exactly what the prostitution was of that name, but I did it. But I thank you for including that number because I've been a longtime fan of uh, Mr. Kenton. Thank you. That's been my favorite band. I would like to take this opportunity to have you identify the, the head man in the music department over at Ben Davis. If this is the kind of talent you're developing over there, he also ought to get recognition. Our department chairman is Raymond Cox. Very good. Uh, I think at this time we're going to have to wrap up. I wish we had uh, some more numbers to go through. I hope you'll plan to come back one day and visit with us again. Thanks to all of you, ladies and gentlemen, for performing for us today. Please do not go away from your television set because we're going to come right back after this word.